Comprehensive and Sustainable Global Regeneration. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 133. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 133, October 11th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all of the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 50% of the written content for the creativity lesson plan to the website. You can see this here. This lesson plan is purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of creativity. Behind the scenes, we also wrote the first half of the emotional states lesson plan. And finally, we completed and added the final 50% of the mind map for the recreation and relaxation lesson plan to the web page. You can see that mind map here. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source maca hub. We also added three additional recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your BQ, to the food self sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are Asian brunch salad, broccoli cheese muffins, and Asian lettuce wraps. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week in Highest Good Housing, the core team continued what we hope will be the final revision of the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week included more floor construction narrative additions and design updates that you can see here, creating a new compass-based design and creating an all-new below-ground water collection design that eliminates concrete. That's what you see as hand drawings here. We'd say we're now 36% complete with this behind-the-scenes revision. We also created these new header images for the for five of the villages and the city center and added them to all the pages. Much more coming soon in these areas. On the Strawvale Village Pod 2, Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, finished the first round of beautiful renders of the entire Pod 2 village. This Strawvale Village covering all the key areas of this family focused village design. Here's the game room, gym, library, outdoor dining area, kids playroom, outdoor play area, central social space, 
and cross sections of the living spaces too. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the SketchUp 3D for the Duplicable City Center. This week, we redid the dining dome walk-in freezer and refrigerator access windows. We now say we're about 57% done with the complete 3D update. Iris Sue, industrial designer, continued designing and evolving the pipe furniture designs. What you see here are the third generation concept designs for the chairs and tables that will be in the Duplicable City Center library. We also continue transferring and editing the updates from Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, to the Control Systems Automation page. You can see this work here, and we'd say we're about 60% complete with the total page redesign. This redesign also included creating this new header image that shows a good overview of what each room's control systems will include. Behind the scenes, Lucas Tetsui da Silva, fourth year computer engineering student working under Mike's guidance, continued developing the control systems connector board. This board will have two headers on it, a Raspberry Pi 2 and an Arduino cross-wired so it will work with both and look something like this. Mike also began testing some new touchscreen hardware that you can see in this screenshot from our collaborative call, and he also began testing the 3D object recognition hardware as you can see here. On our website, there is also a video of this hardware in action showing why this is some of the most cutting edge technology in the world right now. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team continued editing and formatting the wonderful work of Oz Chersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law. This included finishing the open source and copyrights and trademarking tutorial with images, icons, and a new reference section and other details. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Comprehensive and sustainable global regeneration is possible if enough people are interested in participating and making that happen. One community is here to facilitate that process through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. What that means is addressing all of the foundations that we think are most important to creating global regeneration through sustainable lifestyles. These foundations include food, energy, housing, which are the physical foundations of sustainability, and combining this what we, with what we call the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education, economics, for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living practices, as well as true earth stewardship. Putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that we feel can build the foundation for comprehensive and sustainable global regeneration through self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. We call these solution models designed to create additional solution creating models because they take the highest good living model and lifestyle and we demonstrate it as a way that most people will find to be better than the way that they're living right now. And then through our open source strategy, our open source planning, everything that we're open sourcing, we make that accessible to everybody to duplicate, to modify, to adapt, to change, to implement in the way that works best for them so that the model will spread and evolve on its own. This is how we are creating comprehensive and sustainable global regeneration. Our idea is that if enough people are interested, if enough people participate, we can build a bridge between idealism and pragmatism, or between pragmatism and idealism. Putting these two things together to create a world that truly works for everybody by bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it's possible, that want to be the change that they, can, that they want to see in the world and are interested in participating and volunteering like all of our members are doing to create this world that we know is possible that works for everybody through the self-replicating teacher demonstration community village city or hub model. This is what one community is doing. And this is how we're doing it.
So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to participate in, if it sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, we invite you to get involved. We've got lots of different ways to participate, ranging from the Pioneer team, which are the core members that meet every single week through teleconferences that are all around the planet. They get together, we talk about what's going on, we organize, and we are really guiding the ship that is one community and will be the people that move to the property, live at one community, build one community, and share it with the world. Or you can participate as a consultant or volunteer or as a satellite member, which are people that help behind the scenes but are not interested in moving to the property but are still a part of the creative and development process that is one community volunteering their time to create this model and to forward it even more. You can also help by sharing our information through social media. We're on all the different social media networks, LinkedIn, Twitter, Sue, Reddit, Tumblr, uh, Facebook, of course, Pinterest, all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access our information, to make our information as broadly and as widely uh, spread as we can so that we can get it in the hands of people that are most interested in it and make it as easy as possible for people to share this information with others. If we're gonna build a bridge between pragmatism and idealism, that bridge has to be built by participation. And so our idea is to get the information in the hands of as many people as possible, to open source the information so it's not just open source, but so it's open source project launch blueprinted in a manner that makes it so that it is specifically designed to be adapted, to be modified, to be replicated, and to create additional iterations, open source iterations of everything that we're doing so that there's more variety for people to choose what they want. We think that if comprehensive and sustainable global regeneration is going to happen, it needs to be as diverse as the human desires are. As diverse as what people want, as diverse as the different opinions of how things should be done. And so this is why we're open sourcing and free sharing everything we do, specifically to make that as easy as possible and to forward that. Now, the number one thing that could help us right now is we are still seeking large-scale funding. I already said that we are an all-volunteer organization, so none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing, but we're still seeking large-scale funding to help get the property off the market. So if you were somebody that knows someone that might have the resources to do that, or if you were somebody with the resources to help in this area, we would love to speak with you. And of course, the small donations help as well. So every week I like to say thank you for all the small donations we get, the $5 donations, $10 donations, those occasional $50 and $100 donations really help to cover our nonprofit expenses and expenses that go above and beyond everything that we're volunteering our time for. There's marketing expenses and other open source development expenses that are coming out of our pockets if they're not covered by donations. So the little donations actually really make a big difference. And of course, huge thanks for everybody who makes comments. Thank you for the people that share our information on social media. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the suggestions that we get. All that stuff gets integrated to make everything that we're creating, all the open source, do-it-yourself, instructions, tools, tutorials, blueprints, to make it all better. One community is a global collaboration of people that care about this planet and creating the future that we want. It's a global collaboration of people that believe that we can create the world that we want and that world can be a world that sustains everybody, that meets the needs of everybody. We're an organization of people that believe that the way to address the most challenging issues for this generation and all the future generations to come is to simultaneously address the challenges, all the challenges that we're facing right now. Poverty, homelessness, lack of energy, which a third of the planet still has, 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 does not have adequate access to power. Crime, social injustice. We think that these things are not only interrelated, but we believe that they're interdependent. And so the idea of the teacher demonstration hub and model that we're building the path to comprehensive and sustainable global regeneration that that is creating is by simultaneously addressing all of these things because we see them as not only interrelated but interdependent. And so we're creating a comprehensive model to address everything at the same time. And we're affording it by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it as attractive enough so that the model will spread on its own. This is what we're doing. We invite you to join us. We, see, thank you, we say thank you for following our progress. And as always, until next week, we will, of course, keep on. Keep it on. Thanks for following our progress.